So next thing we want to do is um, just uh, separate the uh, the dipstick there. It's a size uh, six hex screw that fits it just in there. Uh, if you pop that screw out, then that will allow you to kind of move this uh, this bracket, and it's going to give us a little bit of movement and freedom that we need. Uh, just to um, uh, do, do some work on the extra bits, it's going to give us a bit more space. Okay, next, uh, if we look down here, uh, we've got this uh, braided metal pipe, and there's a hex size 5. What we want to do is re yeah, remove that screw and just prise that out and get that removed on this end. And next up, uh, if we look in here, we've got this uh, little rubber hose, and we've got a um, kind of a clip on either side. What we want to do is slacken off the inner one. That's the one closest to the uh, to the gearbox. Uh, on my particular one here, they've uh, uh, put the clip in, so I can't actually access the thing. So I'm using a size seven uh, spanner uh, to get at the head of it. But slacken that off. Same on both sides. I'm just slacking it off. I'm just going to uh, get rid of it for the time being. I'll put it back in later and put it in at a better angle where I can actually access the uh, the uh, nut end a little bit better. Uh, once you've got that hose slackened off, uh, we're going to um, remove uh, the temperature uh, sensor, which is this one here. And once that's out of the way, uh, we've got these uh, three um, uh, nuts on, on top here as well. Uh, so that's the next stage. Okay, so uh, size 17. Penetration fluid, uh, we're using plus gas here, but whatever you normally use, give that a couple of minutes to soak in. So next up for these uh, three screws, uh, as mentioned they, they're size 16 uh, externally. Uh, these are a little bit rusty, so that's what I'm going to try and do is use the, uh, the spline uh, interior of them, uh, which is a size uh, M12 on, on the spline. Uh, when you do this, you want to... Make sure you get them as deep as you can uh, into there before you start. Uh, so that's the first one. Uh, get the other two removed in exactly the same way. Okay, next up we're going to uh, remove the manifolds here. Uh, if you look across the top, you've got um, a large uh, series of nuts, which are size 10s, uh, all the way across the top and the same across the bottom. And there's also uh, a couple of nuts uh, hidden away in the, uh, in the centre there as well, I believe, as well. Uh, so we're going to get all of these disconnected now. ones here, uh, these are a size uh, 7 uh, hex, and now what you want to do is, um, you can actually put a, a size 13 socket, but there's not room enough to actually fit a size um, 13 socket on there. So what I've done is i put a size 10 socket onto a long uh, size 7 hex, and that just about reaches them, uh, so get those removed. So with the nuts removed, just remove the whole manifold like so. So next of all, uh, just down here next to the uh, the turbocharger here, we've got a vacuum line on the top here. Uh, we've got a cable tie on R1. You'll most likely have something uh, a 
is a bit more substantial. I don't think that's factory. But anyway, whatever type of clip you've got on there, that needs to be removed and pop that off. And then the other thing that we'll also do whilst we're in this location, is we'll just free off this bracket by removing the, this screw right here as well. So let's get those two done now. size 5 uh, on this little uh, bolt here Mine's a, little a little rusty so I'm just uh, making sure I get the tool in as deeply as possible to minimize the possibility of it rounding off So next up we're going to look at the uh, manifold on the uh, opposite side of the engine. Uh, this is just like we did uh, on the on the first side. Uh, same kind of bolt layout and everything so you just got to repeat it. You've got a little bit more kind of limited access here uh, but you still can just about access the bolts etc. It's just a little bit tighter uh, but exactly the same uh, process to get this one removed as we've already done so we're not going to film that. Um, but yep you get the idea this has got to come off next so let's get it removed. Mm -hmm. 